Hello and welcome to the Futures Lab. So this week we are going to be creating a font that will display how much damage we've dealt when we do an attack against our enemy. Let's jump straight into it. The first place that we need to go is to our fight sprite. Have a look for where we've got define slash animation and look down until we get here to if damage greater than zero. We want to take out this say damage for one second and throw it away. Get this change enemy HP by minus damage and just put it off to the side for now. Then we're going to go to events, the yellow category, and we're going to get out a broadcast and we're going to put it underneath our broadcast enemy hit. Click on our second broadcast and then select new message. We want to call this message damage. Press OK and now we're going to create a new sprite. Bottom right corner, move up and select paint and we're going to name this sprite damage. Now here's a little trick on making a font like the Undertale font. First select the text tool, then select the pixel font, make sure that the fill is black. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this a bit better. Click in the middle and we're going to start off with just a one. This doesn't need to be very big, we can always change the size later using code, but mine's about 14 pixels high and 46 pixels wide. Now use the select tool, make sure that the one is centered. And you'll notice that now, once you've selected it using the select tool, you should be able to give it an outline. I'm going to give it an outline in red and I'm going to make the outline three pixels thick. And now we have this very cool effect that's very similar to the font used in Undertale. So we're going to rename this costume as one and then we're going to duplicate this costume. Now double click on the one and type in two. Make sure that it's centered and keep duplicating. And of course, after nine, make sure that you make a zero. Make sure that it's named zero. Make sure they're all centered. And after you're done, we're gonna go back to the code. So we already put a broadcast into our fight code that tells us when we should create these numbers. So let's start there. Go to events and get out when I receive damage. Now we're going to create a variable. So go to variables, click on make a variable and call this digit. And select for this sprite only and press OK. This digits variable is going to help us break down large numbers into smaller numbers, the same way that you could break down a word into letters. So if we took the number 103, that would break down into three digits, the one, the zero, and the three. Every number has at least one digit. So let's get out a set digit to one. Then go to motion, get out go to random position and change it to go to your enemy. Now we're going to create a function that will write all of the numbers for us. So go to my blocks, click on make a block and call this write numbers. Select run without screen refresh because we want all the numbers to appear at the same time. Press OK and drag this define right numbers off to the side and get your right numbers from the top left and put it underneath your go to enemy. Now go to control, get out repeat 10 and put it underneath define right numbers. Now go to operators, the green category and pull out length of apple. Put that inside our repeat, go back to variables and pull out damage. Put that over the apple in length of. Go to looks and get out switch costume to. Go to operators, get out 
letter one of Apple. Drag that out and put it into your switch costume two and go to variables. This is where our digit variable is going to come in. Drag out digit and put it over the one and then drag out damage and put it over the apple. Now go to control and get out create clone of myself. Go to variables and get out change digit by one. Go to motion and get out change x by let's say 20. So this code will go through and create clones of your number digit by digit. Let's see if it works. Okay, you can see the numbers are appearing there, but we've got some other things that we need to fix. First off, let's hide the original sprite. Go to events, get out when green flag clicked, go to looks, get out hide. And while we're here, let's make sure we're resetting the damage at the beginning of the game. Go to variables, get out set damage to zero. Now let's make sure that our clones show themselves. Go to control, get out when I start as clone. Go to looks, get out show and go to front layer. Now let's check what that looks like. Much better. Awesome. But in the original Undertale, the numbers jump up a little bit. So let's add that animation in. Make sure you put some space underneath your when I start as clone code. Go to control and get out a repeat 10. Go to motion and get out change y by one. This is gonna be the upwards motion. We need to bring it back down again and I'm gonna bring it down again much faster. So right click on repeat, duplicate, and put this repeat 10 directly underneath. But I'm gonna change this to repeat two, change y by minus five. Let's see what that looks like. Nice, okay, I quite like the way that looks. You can change these numbers if you want, but what we also need to do is make sure that the numbers go away after a little while. So let's go to control, get out a wait one seconds, and then underneath that, we need to put delete this clone. Now the next step is optional, but I recommend doing it if you intend on having large amounts of damage or long numbers. So go and find your define right numbers um, and go to motion, the dark blue category, and get out change X. Put that right underneath our define right numbers. Now currently, the first digit of our number appears in the middle of the enemy character, and each digit after that goes to the right, which is fine if you have only a short number, but if you have a very long number, it's going to look very strange only having the numbers on the right side of the enemy. What we need to do is make it more centered. So this line needs to move our sprite left, but how much? Well, we can use our length of damage and times that by half the gap, and then that should center our number more or less. So go to operators, get out a multiplied by operator and put that right here. Now right click on our length of damage, duplicate and move that up into our multiplied by operator. Now the gap is 20. So if we say half the gap is 10, but what we'll also need to do is make sure that we're moving left. So this needs to be a minus number. So let's make this minus 10. Now, if we want to test what this looks like with large numbers, all we need to do is go to fight and look for define damage enemy. Zoom in until you find your else set damage to. Get out another multiplied by operator 
and take this whole thing here, this enemy dodge minus ABS, and put that into the multiplied by operator. Put the whole thing back underneath the else, and then just put a really large number in here. There we go. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh, that looks great, fantastic. It's nice and centered. And there's only one last thing that we need to do. Have a look around until you find that change enemy HP. We're going to drag that and put it into our damage sprite, which means we can get rid of this one now. Go into our damage sprite, find where it's ended up. We want this here to go underneath our right numbers. Although we should probably put a weight in just before it. Go to control, get out weight two seconds, and put that right above our change enemy HP. At this point, you can change your gap if you want. Um, if you want a larger gap, just make this number larger. Don't forget that this number here, this minus, needs to be half of whatever this number is. Don't forget to go to variables and untick your digit variable. Um, if you want, you can go to looks and get out a set size, put it underneath your define right numbers, and that way you can make um, the damage numbers larger or smaller. Go to the fight sprite, and make sure that this number is a number that you're happy with. If this is too large, then your damage sprites probably won't be able to fit on the screen properly. And that's all for now. As always, you can subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications for when the next episode is coming out. Aside from that, stay awesome, be cool to each other, and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas.